My name is Stu Maddox and I'm a film director and the folks in Akron were nice enough to bring me out to talk about it. It's about LGBT aging and the issues that older lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual folks are going through. And I've been really impressed with what a great community there is here in Akron. It's just a real tight group of folks who are doing really good things in their community. And I go around the country a lot and I see a lot of different you know, groups. And these are the places that you look for in terms of people making good change in their community. I mean, I, I, I like the energy here. It's really good. And uh, the importance of the film you asked about, the, the film is important because it brings light to an issue that people just don't even think about. I mean, I don't think it's even on LGBT people's radar about growing old. It certainly wasn't on my radar until I started looking at people who are going through some really rough things as they grow old gay. So it was really a long process to be able to, you know, put together their stories. And so today, things like this are the, the payoff, when I get to feel that people really are affected by it. It was horrible. It was vile. But that plays right into how they stuck in mourning. I think. So now I'm terminally ill with lung cancer. How long do they give you to live? About a year ago, they said 18 months. Um, but, um, if you start stopping this, I'll probably make it 19 months. I mean. <laughs> I've done it alone. And things are getting worse and worse. They say we choose to catch up before I die. I, I welcome them. Yeah, what I'd like to do with the film is make it kind of the, the touchstone film on LGBT aging. I'd like this film to be the thing that people say in the same sentence when they say, hey, have you thought about growing old gay? Hey, have you seen this film, Jen Silent? It really shows what it's like. But I think more important than that, I'd like this film to get seen by the people who are the paid caregivers and the people who are the policy makers on, on aging. I don't think anything makes the light go on over people's heads about what it's like to grow old LGBT more than seeing these people tell their stories over the course of a year on screen. So I'm hopeful that it's going to change the landscape of aging a little bit. I think my condition is worse than you. There is a part of him that is drifting away each day. That he's with people who care for him. Is it okay to be a gay man here? Well, if I know, and then we have to go. Have you been hassled at all? Not at all. I kiss her every day. I kiss her and I say, I love you. We have pictures up. You know, I just, I'm feeling free when I get there to say, oh, so, it's so good to see you. Oh, we're just sitting there. And he just looks up and he says, I'm so glad you're here. I feel good. Mm -hmm. I put lotion on his hands. And that is such an intimate moment. I just smooth the lotion onto his hands and touching his skin. And as I touch his skin, you know, saying, I love you. Would you have had that at the other place? No, I wouldn't have felt comfortable doing that. And, and maybe you should just go ahead and do it. Maybe I would have. I probably would have gone ahead and, and I, 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 I would put lotion on this, but I would do it in a clinical, almost clinical sort of way where you just sort of, you know, okay, let's get this lotion on your hands and let's get this clean this up, you know, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But, you know, it wouldn't be the, 
and just massaging it in, taking your time, just feeling, feeling his skin, feeling his hand, and his, and, and, you know, being able to sense my touch. We've gotten a lot of great feedback from very important places. Uh, we were able to show this at the Massachusetts State Legislature. We've shown this uh, at the SAGE National Conference, which is the largest advocacy group for LGBT older people. We have interest from AARP and from the Veterans Administration and from the President's Council on AIDS and HIV. All these places really think that this film is something that can raise awareness everywhere. So it, it's really got legs. It's really kind of, I, I'm always like, amazed when I get an email from somebody in Washington DC. Hey, I've seen your film and this really is useful for us. Can we use it to tell people what it's like? You know, we show people struggling in nursing homes to um, just be able to hold hands with their partner. Or we see people like not acknowledging their partner in the home because they're scared the care worker is going to like judge them. Maybe not clean the house as good or, or preach to them at their bedside. You know, just silly stuff like that. Audiences don't believe it's going to happen to them. I think audiences don't believe that they're going to grow old. I think they think it's going to be like the Golden Girls. I get that all the time. And it may be like the Golden Girls for a while, but there's some point in your life when you're going to need help, when all the people around you are not going to be able to provide the care for you. And you may need to go into one of these places, and you want it to not only be safe, and affirming, but you want it to be enjoyable and fun to be who you are and be with your partner. So, I, but I don't think, your question is, I, I don't think people really understand that it's really happening everywhere. It's happening here in Akron, it's happening out in, you know, out in the countryside too. It's not just a rural problem or, you know, it's, it's everywhere. You just asked me whether some people who are in the film who may be suffering from dementia, like we have one fella who we focus on who has Parkinson's dementia, you had a great question of whether he remembers he's gay or not. I think that's the last thing he will remember is that, <laughs> that he likes guys, you know. I think that uh, that's such a deep-rooted, you know, um, part of your psyche your sexuality, you know, for all of us, gay or straight, that, yeah, no, he never forgot that, that part. And in fact, in the closing credits of this film, he talks about, in his dementia, he thinks he's being hit on by other people in the facility, which wasn't true, but it was a great fantasy for him to have, and here he is in his late 80s, so. The final message I'd like to send to everybody, that it really doesn't matter whether you work in this field or you're gay, you're straight, you're conservative, you're liberal. This is not a political issue or an issue about having an agenda or right or wrong. This is really just about that person who is out there right now in a cold apartment, alone and afraid to ask for help. And there's nothing political or having an agenda about caring for that human being. And that's what I hope to convey in this film.